Hello there, everybody. Welcome back to Sonic 3 Knuckles Hidden Palace Zone. This zone's kind of odd in a way, because um, it's really short, but it has the closest thing to a cutscene this game has. It's also a level that was originally supposed to be in um, Sonic 2. There was going to be a Hidden Palace Zone in Sonic 2. In fact, you can actually, if you play the soundtrack, I can't remember what number it is, but you can actually play a piece of music that doesn't appear in the game, in the soundtrack. And that's from Hidden Palace. In fact, I think there's a couple. And of course, we finally get to square off with Knuckles. Who is, frankly, a cakewalk. Like, seriously, this guy is so Ah, shit. Fuck, every time! Now, here's an interesting thing. In fact, I'm gonna pause this for a split second. Once I've actually killed him. And there he goes. Now, I'm going to pause this for a split second because i got to talk about this. That image in the background has been a matter of debate between uh, myself and a friend for a long time. And I want you guys to weigh in on this. When I was a kid, I saw that and I assumed it was like a prophecy. You've got supersonic or hypersonic or whichever one you've got on the right side. Because that, that clearly looks like Sonic. It's blue for a start. It's got spikes on the back and all that stuff. And it's got the fire around it, which implies the, you know, the, the superness. And you've got Eggman's machine, which looks a bit like it. It does, holding on to the Master Emerald and with the missiles and all that other stuff behind it. And it looks like it's prophesizing this clash between Eggman and Supersonic. That's how I always interpreted it as a kid. But this friend of mine said that it was simply a mural depicting something that happened in the past that the character on the right is actually like one of the ancient echidnas and that in the past someone built a robot and the Eggman was simply copying the design that he saw from another mural now but honestly both in my mind yeah they could work personally I'm more inclined it was a prophecy of the future rather than a relic of the past because that kind of makes gives this whole sort of mystical edge to the sonic things which really comes into play uh when you start playing like um sonic adventure there's a really big mystical element to the whole thing to it there but whether it's a mural of the past or a mural of the future i guess is a matter of debate i just wanted to bring that up because i don't really have time to talk about it now because this is about to happen I just wanted to bring that up because, it, like I said, it's been a matter of debate between me and my some of my friends. So we fight Knuckles and it's like, look, he finally realizes that Eggman's the bad guy. And you notice the emeralds are all blinking and flashing. Um, yeah, that only happens if you've got all seven emeralds. Um, if you play just, uh, you can't beat him here. It doesn't matter how many times you hit him, he just, he, he buggers off. It's basically an interactive cutscene. And Knuckles actually realizes Eggman's the bad guy. And this is the point where Sonic and Knuckles first sort of become allies. He ain't looking too good though. We're gonna go straight into the next one. I'm not gonna separate this up because this was like all of five minutes. Oh, Sky Sanctuary. I love this music. And again, more cutscenes. This is the point about how like the story becomes increasingly part of the Sonic uh, games, like as it goes on, you know, you you see these sort of they're not really cutscenes; they're more sort of just, I, I guess you could call them cutscenes. And we'll leave him there to recover because we've got the Sky Sanctuary to go to. I've heard a lot of people compare this level to um, uh, Laputa Castle in the Sky, and yeah, I can see that. Like, I can legit see that this was probably inspired by that anime. Which is a great anime, by the way. It's, uh... I mean, I'm, I'm a big fan of anime and Studio Ghibli in general. I like a lot of stuff. And there's a lot of stuff I don't like as well. You know, I'm not, I'm not like an elitist. You know, um... I have seen Neon Genesis Evangelion, for instance. Um, I like it. It's alright. I don't think it's the greatest anime to ever grace the universe. Um, I think there are better ones out there. Um, but it's decent enough. And because Sega loved fan service even back then, yep, oh fuck. They're uh, giving us a recreation of 
the boss controlled by uh, Metal Sonic for some reason. Which is interesting, because whilst I'm not going to play Knuckles' story, it is interesting to know that there is a lot of evidence that Knuckles' story takes place after Sonic's story. Because he's obviously on Angel Island after everything happened. And second... There we go. Um, so, you know, he's there sort of chilling on Angel Island, and one of Eggman's robots, in fact, it's one of these robots that I'm busting up right now, shows up... And it's just like, I'm going to ruin your day. And so you go through the whole game chasing after this robot who literally takes the place of Eggman. He literally takes the place of Eggman in all the boss rooms because Knuckles goes through all the same levels as Sonic. But the palette, well not, not the palettes have changed, the sprites for the bosses are different. They are, they've got the robot in place of Robotnik with one exception. For some reason, and I don't know why, I hate this boss. Gotcha. For some reason, in the original version, and I don't know if it was an oversight, it actually changed in Sonic 3 Complete, but in the original version of Sonic & Knuckles, the boss for... Um, oh, what's, what's the level? Uh, Flying Battery 2. Flying Battery Zone Act 2. That's the boss with um, the rather badly drawn Eggman. I, I think I pointed it out at the time. Um, for some reason, that that isn't changed. And I never worked out why. I assume it's like an error or just an oversight or something. I don't think it's something they would deliberately do. They just forgot, probably. You know, I mean, you know, accidents happen and mistakes can be made. And... Yeah, I love that. Um, so yeah, for, 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 for some reason, for that one single... Um, Oi! That wasn't very nice at all. Yeah, for, so you fight against Eggman for one thing for that one. But then, interesting enough, and again, spoiler alert if you haven't played um, Sonic 3 and Knuckles yet, you fight this robot Sonic as the last boss. And he uses the Master Emerald to go super. Hello. We've got that one. Oop. That's the bounce. And across the floor. Over the top. And then he just repeats those same three animations over and over again. Bounce. It's actually arbitrary about whether he'll reverse or not, I think. I don't remember it having some pattern to it. You just have to keep hitting him. It's easy. But you see, he doesn't get completely destroyed. He's there kind of... And he comes back at the end of Knuckles' campaign. Which is, again, it's a nice twist to tie them together. Because Tails pretty much just plays Sonic's thing. Um... And we're going up. That didn't take that long at all, did it? These levels were shorter than I remember. Oh well. And I'll pause it now. So, thank you all for watching, everybody. We're on. Go we're going to be in the last episode. I'm going to do. Um, uh, what's what? What is it? Final? No. What's the, is it called the Death Egg? Yeah, it's, it's just called the Death Egg, isn't it? Yeah, because I was thinking, isn't Death Egg just a Sonic 2 thing? Uh, blah, blah, blah. I'm getting confused. I'm also getting very nervous. Because I'm, I'm into the last level, and I really don't want to fuck up. I I don't want to look like a tit on the internet. So, um, yeah, we'll be we'll be, we'll be be doing okay, I think. I, I it's, it's the last boss that's really going to do me in. Because that um, last boss is tricky. I'm not talking about the last last boss. I'm not the last boss in the next two levels. But we'll get into that. Uh, so, yes, thank you all for watching, everybody. Please remember to like, to comment, and to subscribe. Follow me on Twitter if you want as well. Link is in the description below. And I will see you in the last episode for Sonic 3 Knuckles in the next one. Bye!